profusely illustrated. Her daughter is in her room studying. She was going to have her final soon, and the girl is a serious student. She doesn't bother her and goes to the kitchen, opens the refrigerator and closes it again. She has no idea what she can prepare for supper. The most she can do is put sausages in one plate and on another bread and tomatoes, and that already demands a titanic force. She hears her daughter talking on the phone and laughing, and hearing her makes her happy. After a moment, her, kid, her husband arrives, hangs his coat in the entry closet, and before coming into the kitchen, turns off all the lights she's left on. When he appears, she smiles to herself. Her man is so likable. In fact, she chose him precisely for that because he's more likable than she, because he's more patient, more capable, capable of loving than she is, better at taking care of things. They kiss each other. Suddenly the man swears, I didn't think to go to the dry cleaners. I'm sorry. Do you need those pants? He stops because he notices that his wife is very serious and asks her what's going on. They trapped my mother, she says. They sold her an encyclopedia. An encyclopedia? Her husband starts laughing. That's a loss. I'm sorry. I don't know where we can make a complaint. He pauses in doubt, but finally speaks. Your mother's getting old. Pretty soon she won't be able to live alone. We'll have to start thinking about it. His wife opens a drawer and closes it mechanically two or three times. Then she leans on the marble and sighs. If you knew what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I, I can't explain it to you. Then don't. You'd say that I'm a bad person. Why am I that way? But you're not a bad person. Yes, I am. Come on, lady, let's drop the subject. I love you a lot. Are you hungry? Do you want us to fix supper? Do you want me to make the omelets? Mine are always delicious. He hugs her while she cries softly. Her daughter bursts into the kitchen calling for supper and finds her parents in each other's arms, very quiet, as if they were dancing to a very slow song.